Hi, my name is Phil Hasse, creator of Dynamite Jack, and today I'm going to show you how to make a map on the iPad. The first thing I like to do when I'm creating a map is select a floor tile so I can carve out the shape of my cave. You'll note I can use the pinch and zoom to create the cave in any shape I want, and then I can use the fill tool to fill in my cave. Next thing I like to do is add in the player and add in the exit so I know where the level is starting and finishing. And then I like to add in the player's flashlight and detonator so he's got things to pick up right away. To make the level a little bit more interesting, I always like to add in some danger. So I'm going to add in a guard right here. When you add in enemies, you need to give them a walking path. So I'm going to add in these arrows to show which way he needs to march. I think I'm going to have the guard guard some red technology, so I'm going to add that in now. Now that I've got the guard marching around the technology, I think I'm going to add a wall around the exit. That way I can put a lock on the exit so that the red technology has to be blown up in order to get through to the end of the level. I did overwrite that corner there, so I'm going to use this tile picker to select that type of tile that I'm going to draw and just fix up that edge right there. My level is looking pretty good, but one thing that I find that makes things look a lot nicer is adding a little bit of glow to the level. So I'm just going to put these purple glow dots around the edge of the cave, which give the cave a nice glowy feel to it. Now that I've got my level created, I need to test my level to make sure that it's playable. Great, I was able to defeat my level. Since my level looks pretty good, what I can do now is I can go and share my map with everyone else. I hope you have a fun time creating maps with Dynamite Jack.